Let's do some important A-level physics practice. We have a tennis trainer consists of a tennis ball suspended by a string from the top of a vertical pole. How interesting. When the ball is hit, it travels in a horizontal circle around the pole and that's shown in the picture. The radius of the path of the ball is 1.2, speed of the ball is that. Deduce whether these values are consistent with the angle between the string and the vertical pole shown in the photograph. And this is precisely why you need to bring a protractor for your exam in physics. Luckily for me, I think I have a virtual one into this ruler. Look how cool is that? So let's see if I can figure it out using this app. So this here is zero degrees, isn't it? Which is this horizontal line. And this angle here is 37, which means that this angle here has to be 53 degrees, give or take. So what we need to do is deduce whether those values are consistent. And these are one of my favorite types of problems, i.e. circular motion at an angle. Do me a favor, when a problem like that appears, resolve the tension immediately into components. So let's call this angle here also theta. We can say that T cos theta has to be equal to mg, T sine theta is equal to mv squared over r. Why is that? Well, the weight will be acting straight down like this, and this will be supported by the component of the tension which is just acting upwards. Because the ball is moving in circular motion, there still needs to be a net force towards the center of rotation, and that is this vector over here, mv squared over r. Call this equation one, call this equation two, and then the shortcut of dealing with this would be to divide two by one. So if we divide two by one on the left hand side, we're going to get T sine over cos. Uh, what would that give us? So T sine of theta divide that by T cos of theta. That will just end up giving us tan of theta. So we'll just cancel it out right now and just say that tan of theta. And then on the right hand side, if we were to divide mv squared, over r and then divided by mg, we're going to get this. So let's cancel out the m's and we've got an expression for tan of theta. Tan of theta will simply be equal to v squared over rg. How nice is that? We know our speed v, we know our radius, we know g, we can just work out our angle and we can see whether the picture is consistent with our calculation. So theta will be inverse tan of... We get 50.8, which is around 51 degrees. So they're off by around two degrees. So we can say that there is a difference of approximately two degrees. However, this here had an uncertainty of about a degree. If I had a little bit more time, I might even calculate something like the percentage difference. This question was a lot of fun, but if you want to have a look at, in my opinion, one of the hardest circular motion questions that I've ever seen in A-level physics, you need to have a look at this video right over here that will help you understand circular motion even better and get maximum grades on the exam.